Hello! Shui here. I'm a carpenter in Japan. Today, I'm building a study. I'll be installing the L shaped desk and the four bookshelves. The study will be 3.3 square meters, which is small. I don't have a chance to use a study, and it's rare to build one in an ordinary house. I'm going to install the frame. First, I install the corner using a 30mm square. It's easy to install the furring strips horizontally if I install the corner first. Furring strips can be screwed in at any height. Next, I measure the height of the desk and shelves. The desk and shelves will be installed in an L shape. So, I mark the reference height on the corner column. I then use a laser to measure the error range and mark them so that they will be leveled. From the floor to the top of the desk is 730 millimeters. The L-shaped desk and the shelves will be embedded in the walls. So, I'll secure the furring strips horizontally to the back of the desk and shelf. I nail them firmly. I'll install the desktop and shelves on them later. Now, I'm going to cut the desktop. The material is laminated Japanese ash. I cut two pieces, one with an original width of 600mm and the other with a 400mm width, making the L shape. I don't like to cut and plane the laminated woods on site. If there are a lot of sections, I'll cut them at the workshop. But this time, I cut and plane them on site with an electric planer. Laminated wood is not always flat. If both sides aren't flat, it will be difficult to work with. They were in good shape this time, so I could work with them easily. Japanese ash wood has a very strong smell. It smells like goat dung, and it's awful to work with. But after oiling, the smell will go away, and the sheen will improve. I don't use a planer to finish the laminated wood. Instead, I use a sander. Japanese ash wood is quite hard. So, I sand it with coarse grit sandpaper first, then finish with fine grit sandpaper. It can be finished well, either with oil or with resin coating with a sander. Laminated wood is made of multiple pieces of wood. Using a planer, the amount of shaving depends on the location of the wood, and it will also be uneven in color. The disadvantage of a sander finish is that the surface will be rough if water, rain, or sweat drips on it before oiling or painting it. I need to be careful about that. I'll chamfer the top edge since I've finished the desk's top surface. To make the edges rounded, I chamfer widely. It's called bozumen in Japanese. I cut a tenon to join the desk's corners from the side. It's a 10mm thick Japanese cypress board. 
I'm going to cut it to about 2 cm and use it as a tenon. I cut a groove in the desktop, the same size as a tenon. The thickness of this groove cutter can be adjusted easily, so it's also called a free cutter in Japanese. It's a useful tool. I cut a groove in the corner joint. I set the guide ruler on the same surface. If I cut the bottom, I set it on the bottom. If I cut the top, I set it on the top. The groove is not in the center, so it's important to set it on the same surface. If I set the guide ruler on the same surface, the grooves will match. I also cut a groove on the end where they join. I lay the board when cutting the end. It's hard to cut it upright, so I always lay it. I'm installing the desk now. First, I place the longitudinal side of the 600mm board. Then measure the actual length. The other 400mm board is short, and the ends will be attached to the 600mm board. I first secure the longitudinal side firmly. I apply glue to the groove well. Only the tenon will be used to join this part. I can't screw it or do anything else to secure it. Since only a tenon is supporting it, I glue the groove and tenon shoulder well. I wipe off the excess glue with a wet towel. As I mentioned earlier, the surface will be rough if it gets wet. I fix the level difference on the joint and finish the surface with a sander again. Last, I chamfer and finish the internal corner. I'll use a router to round the corner. Since it is hardwood, the corner is rough. So I chamfer the corner to be rounded, using my fingers to check the finish. Now that I've finished installing the desk, I will install the shelves. The material is Japanese separate 30 mm laminated wood. I cut it to the shelf's dimensions.
About 40 years ago, every house had a parlor. It was built in the best part of the house, and was well made and luxurious. It was also study, but it was not so common. These days, private rooms are more common, and parlors have not been built for the past 20 years. It's uncommon to plan to build a private room, such as study, from one's husband. Nowadays, building chore rooms, laundry rooms, and closets for one's wife are more common. Even if it's small, it's nice to have a luxurious study. This shelf will be O-shaped like the desktop, and only tenants will be used for joining. It'll be embedded in the wall, a screwed from the firm strip side. I also installed the inner three shelves. These shelves won't be embedded in the wall. The shelf's width is 200mm, so I can make three from one 600mm board. As there's not enough width to embed them in the wall. I install wall boards first and secure the shelves from the back. I install the furring strips horizontally on the back of the shelves so they can be screwed to them. First, I only install two wall boards on the front. Then install the three shelves. I place the warped side upward. I first screw both ends to the furring strips. Then I go behind and screw them from the furring strip side. The screws will loosen on their load if you only screw the shelves directly from the wallboard. Because the shelves are secured to the furring strips, they won't rattle. I also glue where the wallboard joins. I finished building the study now. Japanese ash desktop and Japanese separate shelves. It has become a luxurious study. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.